Today we are with Kenji Ongiwara. He was the former Japanese Nordic combined team. He, got, he won two gold medals, one in 1992 and the other one in 1994. It's an amazing his, uh, like a life history hero here with us. Kenji, first of all, thanks for being with us today. Thank you very much. Kenji, let's talk a little bit about mm. this sport. Why did you decide to, to, to practice the combined? Mm -hmm. mm. When I was a child, I have a dream. Uh, uh, my dream is a, a, a beer actor. You know, actor. Yes, an actor. I asked my father, hey, my, hey, hey, Papa, I want to be an actor in the near, in near future. And then my uh, father said, yes, it's an easy way. He said, uh, uh, you have to uh, participate Olympic Games and then uh, get gold medal. You are very popular, you're going to be very popular and uh, you can uh, easy to be actor. And then I uh, started skiing. So, well, you decided to be an athlete because you want to be an actor. Could you be an actor? Or it's just a dream? Uh, just a dream. I started skiing. It, it, uh, and, and, uh, I have, and my dream is it, changed. Uh, I want to be an uh, Olympian and an Olympic uh, medalist. Now we know why you start to practice in sports, but why you decided to, to be part of the combined Nordic team? Uh, why? Why, why did you practice this sport? Oh, uh, Wait, oh. why I study Nordic yeah. combined? Um, it, 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 uh, it is very um, fun, very interested in yeah. Nordic uh, ski jumping and cross country skiing. Uh, I love ski jumping and cross country skiing also. And then a bit Nordic combined skiing. Let's remember a little bit, let's go back in time to 1992 mm -hmm. when you won your first gold medal. Uh, what did you feel when you were in the start line before starting the competition? Mm -hmm. Were you nervous? Mm, yes, it was uh, very, very nervous and very uh, tense like this. But after the, uh, after the competition, I won a uh, uh, gold medal for the team event. Uh, I, uh, I think oh, my dream is it, come true. So talk about us. Uh, talk to us about how was the mm. preparation for these Olympic Games. Mm, how? Mm, it's very difficult to explain. It, but uh, I have <coughs> uh, I have a very much time, a lot of time to train and uh, running and weight training and. Uh, Roller skiing and ski jump at the summer. Uh, I spend many, a lot of time for it. For last but not least, I always have a, have a question to all the athletes I interview, and I wanted to make this to you because it's important for me. When I was little, I wanted to be an athlete, and my dream was to hear the national anthem at the final of the competition. You could hear it because you were the first, you were the best in what you do. What did you feel? Hmm. Happy, happiness, uh, rewarding. I don't know, uh, uh, it's difficult to say. Uh, I, I can find uh, some words. Amazing. Mm. But uh, one of the best uh, moments in my life. It's incredible. Mm. Kenji Ojiwara, one of the best athletes ever in this Olympic Winter Games. Let's talk a little bit about Tokyo 2020. Mm. What we can find in Tokyo? Why must be Tokyo mm. the city that mm. receives the Olympic Games? Mm. Uh, I believe uh, Olympic. 
or score uh, have power. Uh, this power is changing everything. Uh, I hope I hope uh, Olympic power um, uh, to uh, influence for uh, new generation, young generation, and hope challenge. Um, I think uh, it's a very uh, important thing. Things uh, we uh, we we. We uh, have to uh, hope. Uh, uh, I think in Tokyo, 2020, this is good uh, Olympic Games, and it uh, it gives uh, hope to young generation. Talking about young generations, do you think they are prepared to work, to win more gold medals? Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, we have a lot of uh, good talent, new talent, and you can remember uh, London 2012. Uh, we have a lot of uh, medals, and if we we can uh, host at the Tokyo, uh, we will get uh, more, much more medals. Kenji, thank you very much for being with us today. It's a legend. It's the flying man because you literally fly there. Thank you very much for being with us. Thank you very much.